Hi, I'm Petra from Stavebnice and today I would like to show you how to create a stockable custom fields uh, as a variant to multivariant in virtue mode uh, using plugins by break designs uh, called stockable custom fields and custom fields for all. Um, this These are plugins that you can use to create uh, custom fields in virtue mode. And um, I'm going to show you how uh, to create sizes and colors and then assign the combination uh, which can keep stocks uh, in virtue mode. So first, uh, let's start with the easy one, a custom field uh, size that will create a size buttons, not a uh, regular a drop down that are used to, that you are you used to but a button that people then can click so you create it as a plugins size you leave it like this and I just hide it because I don't want to show that in product description but if you want to then just click no and here select custom fields for all and here keep a string text and buttons and like this and display price no because it has no effect on the price but if it does then you can want you may want to show the price so i save it and i add some values that we can choose from on the product then like um s m Okay, you don't have to add all sizes at the moment because you can add them later when you are adding uh, the products. Uh, so I save this and now I'm going to create a color button which is a bit more complicated but quite easy as well. So I create a new custom field, again plugins. I call it color and you can have this uh, like custom field uh, in combination with other sizes of clothes and so on and again you leave it like this hide it again custom fields for all but now make sure that you select color hex and color buttons before you save it and we'll tip no again and I just save it and right now I can create the colors this is for example white so you can enter a uh, hexes here or you can use the color picker to add as many colors as you want uh, but again you don't have to add them all at the moment I just want to show you a couple more and I save it okay and now we need to create another custom field which will use combination of these two it will be a different custom field. It will be custom field, stockable custom field. Right here, and you s um, call it color and size of caps and hats. And this time, this will be card attribute and card input. And it will not be hidden. The type will be stockable custom fields and you save it and now you need to decide if you want to sort it by parent product and then uh, what happens with the products that are not in stock if you want to disable enable or hide the buttons with their combinations so i leave it enabled and right now i'm going to select the two custom fields that I just created 
color and size and we just close it and they appear here so now we have what we need and we can proceed to create a product and assign this one custom field to it so uh, as you can see we have hats here already I can open it and here at the custom fields I have another different uh, custom field of the same type assigned so I just delete it and show you once again we create color and size of caps and hats and here you can see that you can select color of this one variant of size and color so it will be blue SM and you may want to upload a photo of, of this um, head which is here and it may have unique SKU, unique stock and price and you may also enter this later at the uh, child product that is created whenever you save this like like now oh uh, I uploaded two big pictures so let me solve it I just uh, resize it a bit alright so we return to the product and we upload the right size of the image. You may also want to uh, upload uh, both images to parent product. So uh, I'm back and I want to upload the right size of the image which is blue and I save it and I can have uh, the same color uh, in different size or I can have a uh, different uh, color like the gray one so as you can see I don't have gray color here so I will edit right here and I want to upload the image again and here you can so, um, select if you want to create new product or derive from uh, existing product so just save it and even if you make mistake you can change these later and also you can change the uh, child products here on the parent product uh, card or at the single product of uh, of uh, child products so uh, I think we create them created them right now and we can see how it looks And as you can see, you have buttons, the switch, colors, and also only so show sizes that are available for this color. So that's basically it. And if you like this video, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, at YouTube user Stalavnice. Just click subscribe and... See you later.